light on that blue dial and a few flowers in the photo too while we're at it but uh, I tell you the build quality on these on any Rolex watch is amazing I know they're made by machine and everything and uh, they're so shiny you can you can see me in the reflection a lot of times white gold in the the 369, the blue dial, the coronet at the top. I can't say more. Greetings everybody out there in the watch living world. It's kind of a nice morning here. It is 8.59 a.m. And I'm taking my little uh, Oyster Perpetual out for a walk. Um, it's a beautiful watch. I heard uh, a lot of people say this is a boring watch. And, you know, I think they're right. But, it's 34 millimeter. And, 34 millimeter on an 8 inch wrist, not too bad. Anyway, I think it's a gorgeous little watch. Now we have some bells in the background. Can't beat that. It's hard to get the sun right in this little watch. But I tell you what, when it hits the... Um, when the sun hits these little um, white gold indices, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I thought I would come down here again and get a little view of water. Because it's nice. <laughs> and uh, I really like this little uh, Oyster Perpetual that I got. I actually thought it was an Air King. And I was pleasantly surprised. This Oyster Perpetual 114200. Same model number as the Air King, but it's the Oyster Perpetual. Now, this has the green loom on it, so um, I think that's from the year 2008. Well, we got a duck coming up here. Check that out. Okay, let's get him in the view there. There we go. Can't beat that. We have a little friend here. 
but we're out here checking out this little OP. I tell you, I've uh, got my watch down to a few watches, a few things that I love. This is one of them. As much as I've talked about Rolex and they cost too much and they're only a steel watch and they're not worth it. But in the end, I'm like everybody else, you know what? <laughs> I had to have one for the collection. So I acquired a Rolex Oyster Perpetual 34 millimeter with the blue dial and the 369. This is the Explorer dial. And it actually has the Explorer movement on it too. So it has the caliber 3130 Explorer movement. And it's got 38 hours power reserve. And uh, it may be a boring watch, but you know what? It's just a watch, it tells time. And it's very well made. So, um, I thought it was something interesting to check out.